Unfinished Family Business Season 2, Mississippi River, La Crosse, Wisconsin. You know, I need to make the classic to try to win one for Pops. Also want a blue trophy really bad. Last turn of the year, guys. Mississippi River. I call it Mississippi Maze because it's just like a labyrinth of channels and shallow water fishery. It's big. Come on, buddy. Dude, we're going to have fun today. Yeah, he's not even that big. He's big to me. That's a man. Fine. Yeah, boy! 13 pounds, 7 ounces, you allowed for Skeeter Yamaha Pro, Scott Martin. It may be a delay this morning. As far as where I'm fishing, I don't think any of it's really going to mess anything up, really. That's, that's a big one, dude. There's a lot up there, dude. That's what we're talking about, boys. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Cooking, baby. Oh my gosh, real big one, dude. Real big one. Oh my! what we're looking forward to today. The Big Ten Conference has signed a massive media deal. Good morning. Day three, guys. Bassmaster Elite, Mississippi River, across Wisconsin. The Mississippi Maze. We're sitting in fifth place, guys. Caught them really good the last couple days. Hopefully we can catch them the next two days straight. Pull off our first victory here. You know, winning a tournament's hard, especially against the elite guys that we're fishing against. But you know, the best thing you can do is just stay confident, put yourself around the best position to catch big fish. And uh, both of those things I've got right now. I've got a lot of confidence going in. I'm fishing good, I'm having fun. And I found a couple areas that have a above average size fish. So we're excited. We're gonna take you guys along on a little journey. Mission unstoppable you ask yourself what is mission unstoppable mission unstoppable is is the theme for this whole series mobile delvac oil and it's the oil that i use in my vehicle the truck car battle wagon guys we travel all over the country i make my living on the road driving from south dakota to florida to new york to texas to alabama we spend so much time on the road keeping your truck in good shape Keeping your engine running strong is absolutely the most important thing right now, especially with the way the economy is, the way it is hard to get parts. So I only put the best in my truck, and that's the Delvac. They're sponsoring this video. They've got a Mission Unstoppable website, guys. you got to go check it out. Uh, it's all about what I'm talking about. So we're going to drop a link in the description. So thank you very much, Mobile, for sponsoring this video. And uh, it's fitting, Mission Unstoppable. Our mission for this week is to win a blue trophy. Our mission this week is to make the Bassmasters Classic. And, uh, and that's our goals, and that's what we're doing. So, day three. Hey, hey, by the way, Matt Aries in fourth. I'm in fifth. A little battle of the house, too. So, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So, day three, we're sitting in fourth place, and uh, I'll be lying if I said I don't wanna make a run of this thing. So, we, we gotta catch, we gotta keep up the pace. 15 pounds a day is what we need. Um, I think that's what it's gonna take to probably win this tournament, which is 60 pounds. We're sitting at 30 and some change. Um, I don't. I don't know if the weights will fall off any. I think this place has got, it's just got a ton of fish in it, but that three plus pound bite is still key here. You gotta catch a couple three and a half to go with those two and three quarters, get up to 15 pounds and let's roll. Seven, nine, 
classic qualifier from Lewis to Florida. Good. That felt real good. Oh, dang. It landed on his head. Oh. There's, oh, that's a good one. Oh, my gosh, dude. You got to be kidding me. Smallmouth. Maybe a keeper. They're up there. They're up there. Which feels good. Catch them. I think it's a keeper. Yep. 14 inches. We'll need to get rid of him. We'll put him over on this side. That's two. Those are smallmouth hitting it. You can tell the smallmouth knock it really hard. There's a good one. Oh my gosh, that's a big one right there, guys. That's a big one. Oh, look at that smallmouth. Maybe the big smallmouth are here today because they've been kind of non existent. Yes, yes. I've been wondering where you boys were. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It's, a, it's such a cool place because it's like, put this one on the side. This is, yeah, this is good. This is good. But where else in the country can you come and catch smallmouth, largemouth, just it's ridiculous this place is awesome i'm having so much fun i don't think he's a keeper yeah it's been it's been good he touches i'm gonna clip him I should throw him back, but I feel like it's bad luck to throw back an official keeper and be proud of the ones you catch. He's got to go in a minute, though. He touches, but he's not much.
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was a big one, dude. How'd he miss it? Come on, man. Seriously. There he is. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Ooh, almost with my finger, dude. I'm sure, he's 14. Just gotta check, make sure. Oh yeah, that's my limit. We gotta get rid of that little, that little guy over here, right? That my limit? Two over there. So four? Huh? Five? One, two. Three, four, five. All right, cool. Get a limit. Get a limit, boys. Uh. Uh. Everything's okay. <laughs> God, my. I don't even know what happened. That's called a high-powered break-off. That was like, that's 230 pounds of power behind that thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. You know what, I don't know why it broke, but I'm glad it did. Because it would have broke on a fish. What would have happened? We're chewing today. Is it a bunch of little ones up there? Swim jig and a chatter bait for area. That's Everyone a good one. Start. That's a keeper. There we go. That's more like it here. That's better. That's, God, they're eating it funny, man. Eating it funny. Number one. Now. Eating it real funny. They're biting, we gotta get back in there. A bunch of them up there. That's kind of one of the little sweet spots there. There's a big clean spot right there in the grass. And it's right here between these jetties where there's current coming through and it gives them a great place in between all that grass to set up early and feed. Good one. Good one. Stay pinned, baby. Stay pen. I knew that worm would do it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Number two. Good, solid, solid fish. They get to biting that bladed jig real funny. Just, I mean, I get two or three bites every cast, and I change colors, and I caught one, but I can tell these fish, they want, they're gonna want this worm, I think. Be a keeper. He feels good. Oh, he's in grass. Come out of there. He came out. I don't know what he is. I ain't seen him yet. He's a keeper, I think. Yeah, he's a keeper. <sighs> Not a big one, but a keeper. I think. Now that's that was built right. Yeah, that was built right. Chunky, pretty little Mississippi River bass. That's what's so great about these places. Short and fat. They weigh a lot more than you think they do. Let's get back in there. Can't we catch about 16 pounds here real quick? 
We're gonna eat us a sandwich. There's one. Mayo. I don't know. Don't know. Don't think he's gonna help. Maybe get rid of that little smallmouth if he's a keeper, because he's kind of fat. Oh yeah. I'm sure he gets rid of that little smallmouth. Yep. He will definitely get rid of that little smallmouth. Alright. Upgrade. Officially a limit. Officially. The current's changed. It's interesting on this spot. Even though I'm still catching them here. It's, it, yesterday it was ripping down this side. And they were really stacked. Right there. But the current is good out there. I bet that's where they are. Bet if I make a long cast out that way to that line. That's probably where they are. That's a good one. <sighs> no, it's not a good one. I thought he was bigger than that. Little. When he hit it, I thought he was a three pounder. Can help me. That's cool. helps we just need we need some three and a half and fours and they're in here i've caught a couple big ones that i've weighed in every day right here not gonna help i'm freaking soaked dude Water doesn't look great. So I don't know. Something came up and rolled right there. That's really close to where they were. There he is. They're here. They're here. They're here! They're right where I left them! Uh, need to figure out my smallest one. I need to be pulling quick here. Okay, he's not going to help. But I do need to figure out what my smallest fish is. So I don't sit here and try to pull while I got them all fired up. pounds even. This 
something small. Forgot about him. Yeah, I've been calling. That's <laughs> I've thrown back a couple bigger than this. So yellow's got to go. That one I just caught is bigger than that. So I've got one, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, I've thrown back a couple. Miss cold. Miss cold. Miss cold. All right. There's a bite. Feels big. Oh. I don't know what I got. It's not even moving. I might not even have a fish. I might just have grass or a log or something. There's a bite though. There's a fish in there. Oh, he's snagged. Weird, I was pulling him backwards. That's crazy. That was weird. He was coming in sideways and I couldn't feel him fighting. I was like, felt big. They're still there. We just got to catch a good one. I got like... I got like nine pounds. Five, yeah, for like nine pounds. Little ones, man. What are you catching? Dang, dude. Hey, this isn't the smallmouth school you're talking about, was it? Okay. Last cap. fired up now. It's a little one though. We'll get him out of there quick so he didn't. Alright. They're set back up what I was saying. That's a big one. That's a freaking giant dude. That's mad air. That's a giant. Oh, it's a bass. It's a big one, too. God. Yeah, baby. Meat. Mm. We slid over here to a mat. I've had a few frog bites each day, but I don't think I've weighed a fish on a frog. <clears throat> so we're, uh, we're going to keep them honest. There's a lot less pressure in the area today. Not a lot less, there's less pressure. <laughs> Area's still getting beat down pretty bad, but a couple guys have bailed out. I'm hoping to pick up a bonus fish or two later, especially on this frog once this rain quits and uh, things settle down a little bit. The right ones are there if we can. <sighs> no help, I don't think. No, nope, little guy, this is the problem. That's what my frog bass have looked like. <laughs> you pick up a frog thinking you're gonna get a big bite, you catch, you can catch these all day long. But when they when they eat it like that, when they eat it like that, that's good.
There's a bite. Oh, God. God, that was him, dude. Got him. Feels better. I don't know. Maybe not. Probably not. Ah, uh, he might help. Might help. Yeah. Yeah, baby! Alright, we finally got rid of the little rat. The little mess call that we did this morning. Yeah. That helps me buy like a lot. That helps me buy a lot. Yeah. That's a really good upgrade. This is a two pound, it's at least a two something. Probably like a two, two three. Yep, two three. Two pounds. I need to back up. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere on the screen, dude. There we go. Come on, baby. Nope, little one. It's all right, we might have located them though. They move around in this grass, following bait. I looked out there with the pan apps at the live scope and I could see bait. You can see it on the screen right there, perfect. See it right there, there's all the bait. That ditch. Right there is all the bait. A lot of fish out there too, I don't know what species they are, but obviously there's one right there going across the screen. Well, I found them. Oh, that's a good one, that's a big one. We found them, boys. That's a big one. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes. Yeah! Woo. We found them, dude. We finally found them. I hadn't seen anything on the graph the whole time I've been out here. We found them. We're about to wreck them, dude. I can see them all out there chasing the bait. <laughs> now we just gotta settle down and catch them. That's a good fish right there. Paying attention to your electronics, looking where the bait is, looking for the little depressions, seeing activity, being patient. It's a big deal. They want to eat. I just. A Florida trick right here. I think it's big, dude. I think he's real big. I mean, giant if it's a bass. Real, real big if it's a bass. Uh, bass, big bass, nice bass. Nice bass. Bam, baby! First cast with a little adjustment. First cast with an adjustment. Four pounder, dude. They didn't even get to the bottom. They didn't even get to the bottom, boys. Woo! Look at that right there. Look, that's a humpback. That's a Mississippi humpback. God, that was awesome, dude. I threw it out there and sunk to the bottom. It just was tight. I was like, huh, ow! Dude, the winning bag is right out there. I'm telling you, dude, those are bass on the screen. Woo, nice, dude. Give me some of that. That's Bassmasters Classic for sure. That's a big one. 
Wow. Couldn't believe it. Oh yeah. I'm not even gonna tell you. He just nice, he's just a nice one. As old Schmitty would say, he's just a nice one. Okay. Dude. That felt good. That's where they are. We just confirmed it. Uh. Real important to get your your tail swimming correctly. You get a bait that's not running right. You gotta get rid of it. You gotta get rid of it. Oh my gosh. Nope. I thought that might have been him. A straight braid when you hit him. <laughs> First couple cranks, you know, it's so, so solid. It's 25 minutes. Last cast. All she wrote, fellas. Hopefully it's enough, dude. I don't know. I don't have 14. I've got like 13 something. and Brandon Polinick. They're trying to battle it out and one of them is going to leave here with what many anglers believe is the most coveted award in professional bass fishing. The Bassmaster Classic is the Super Bowl of bass fishing. But the event, the, the, the award that you get for being the best angler all season long is the Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year title. And uh, we're going to see it go down here at this way in this afternoon most likely. Are you ready? A seven-time FLW Tour winner, a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Clewiston, Florida, Scott Martin. 29 pounds and 15 ounces to start the day. He's got five fish. Looking for 10-3 to get inside the cup. 13 pounds, 7 ounces inside the cut currently. And get loud for the Skeeter Yamaha Pro. 
43 pounds and 6 ounces sitting in 6th place. Going to weigh this for Phoenix Boats Big Bass. Needs to be better than 313 to take the lead for the day. 3 pounds, 12 ounces. A little short there, but uh, sitting in 6th place. And keep our fingers crossed it's enough to stay inside that top 10. I know, you know, it's going to be tight. I'm going to, barely, you know, either barely make it or barely miss it. But, you know, my, my main goal was to win this tournament and, and, and you know, with that, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. These boys called them back there, but my other goal was to make the Bassmasters Classic. And I came into this event kind of on the bubble, and uh, so I think we did that. I think we made the Classic. So I'm going to be super excited about that. Thank you. Uh, I want to say hi to my wife and my kids at home. I know they're watching right now, and uh, just fished hard for them all week. Hopefully I'll get one more day, and uh, we'll see what happens. Keep your fingers crossed. It's been great having you on the Elite Series. We hope to bring you out as part of our top 10. A two-time FLW Tour winner from Shelby, North Carolina. Get loud for Matt Airy. 30 pounds and 5 ounces at the start of the day. He needs 12 pounds and 8 ounces to take the lead away from Jay Shakurit. 14 pounds, 11 ounces with 45 pounds even. A brand new leader in Matt Airy. 45 pounds even, you're leading this event. Gonna see if we can take over Phoenix Boats Big Bass for the day. Needs to be better, better than three pounds, 11 ounces. That one, three pounds, nine ounces, not gonna take that away, but you do take the way, lead away from Jay Shakurit, and I'm sure he is visibly shaken backstage. I heard you talking about him getting emotional. I said, I about ran around stage just to see that, but then I realized you weren't telling the truth. <laughs> so, Jay, Jay is a, a, I guess, cool man Jay. That could be a big thing, but uh, yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's the river. We had a, a really good flurry early this morning, and after the first couple hours, I, honestly, it was tough on me, so I'm, uh, Hopefully we'll make it tomorrow. We're banking on an early bite again tomorrow. We got to capitalize on some of those three and a half pounders though to win this thing. I, my goal was to get to 45 pounds after three days, and we're sitting at looked like 45 pounds even. And uh, um, I figured 60 pounds would be uh, would be hard to beat coming in this thing, but um, you know we'll see how it shakes out. You've had an incredible season, no matter what happens here. I mean, another top 10 in Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points. How much would that title mean to you, though, at this point in your career? Man, we've been close. You know, we had a couple of tour wins over at FLW, but we don't have that blue trophy yet. We were close to the classic trophy at Ray Roberts. We were close to a blue trophy at a couple of the Elite Series tournaments the first couple of years out here. And, uh, man, I tell you what, I, that blue trophy looked good in between those two FLW tour trophies. Love to see it happen for you. We'll wish you luck. Hope to bring you out as part of the top ten at the end of our weigh-in. All right, just wrapped up day three here at Lacrosse, and um, I think we're going to go, go fishing tomorrow. we got 45 pounds total for three days I figured uh, you know that was kind of my goal if, if I could get to 45 pounds after today I think it would put us in the hunt so uh, it's gonna be tight weights um, tomorrow we're gonna need a big bag though 16 17 pounds we haven't caught one that big all week but tomorrow's the day to do it and then there was one a former progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year a six-time Bassmaster winner a former Bass Nation National Champion from Raptor, Idaho the prodigy Brandon Holiday of his own destiny. He needs to finish 38th or better in this event to seal the deal and become a two-time Angler of the Year. Five fish here today. Started the date with 24 pounds, 10 ounces. Today, 15 pounds. Cold for me, dude. <laughs> it would be fun. If I decide to go ice fishing, I'll, I'll be sure to come up this way. Is that where y'all do it here on the river? Yeah. Well, not on the river, but. We do it um, going Hatfield. The impound, I just told you. Hatfield City. Go to the city. Scott. Swindle. KJ. At the Mississippi River down to 10. Elite Series Assassin. They'll battle it out all day long. Bassmaster.com. Dude, we'll place you in now. Work.
Third? Fifth. Fifth? I think. I dropped the ninth, but that's all right. Top ten is top ten. Dude, doesn't matter where you, doesn't matter where you Dude, start tomorrow, where you good. finish tomorrow. I felt good. I caught, uh, I caught 13 and a half, you had 15 basically again. That was clutch, because uh, to go into the last tournament on the classic bubble, that's clutch. Thank you, man. It was fun. Fun week. So we get to do it again tomorrow. So guys, here's what we're going to do. Uh, it's gonna be it's so much fish catches today that we can't fit it all in one video so we decided to make it two videos as <laughs> so we're gonna have the final video in the series starting tomorrow morning so we're closing this one out I want to say a huge thank you for watching this a huge thank you to mobile Delvac oil for sponsoring this video a little mission unstoppable how fitting so again guys when you get done watching this video first click the link below check out mission unstoppable it's a website they built especially for this deal so pretty cool stuff Stay tuned, guys. We'll see ya. Boom!